This is a picture of my mom. And if you'll see her hair, that was her signature, was her hairdo. And that would take her about two hours every morning to, to put up and a case of hairspray. My mom was born and raised in Seattle. And at 28, my mother was the first restaurant to be established outside of the red lining of Chinatown. It was one of the first fine dining restaurants back in the late 50s and early 60s. She was the first person to establish a frozen food dinner um, back when Swanson's first started. She was also the first female county councilwoman in the history of the county council and of the state of Washington. She was tenacity with grace and she was compassion without pity. She was devoted to the community so that the rest of the larger community in Seattle would be more aware of what, what Chinese um, and Chinese culture is all about. In order to have institutional systemic change, there has to be people from the outside with the voice of awareness, as well as the people within to make the changes. So that's why I went on the bench. In 1990, I ran for election and had eight terms and 30 plus years on the bench. I was the first Asian American judge in the district courts for the state of Washington. At that point in time, um, 30 plus years ago, there was no curriculum for gender and diversity awareness for the judges. So I, I helped put together and I was on the education committee for the state to start bringing those curriculums and awareness to the bench. I helped establish and pioneer the mental health court, criminal mental health court. My passion came from, this is a group that gets discriminated because of their mental health. And there's nothing they could do about it, just as much as I'm Chinese and can't do anything about it. I think those are the, some of the things I think that I got from my mom to make sure there are things you can do for the community.